Who knew? Now, the unsung heroes who make Birmingham a better place to live have been honoured at a special event in the city this evening. The Brummies were held at the Town Hall, which is where our reporter Audrey Diaz is for us tonight. Audrey? Yes, Sarah, this is where the heroes of this city were honoured today previously known as the Pride of Birmingham Awards, it was organised by Birmingham Mail. But that's not the only reason for Birmingham to be proud today. Figures out suggest that it is the most popular destination for Londoners to move to. I can't sing it like he can, but I can assure you, this is my kind of town. Ah, Birmingham. It's a city you gotta love. And why not? It's come a long way. More than 6,000 people left London for the second city last year. And who can blame them? Great people, great place to be. Shopping and the restaurants. Uh, very busy, as you can see, and um, excellent. It's beautiful here. There's so many people around. They're so friendly. So plenty on offer and cheaper too. Average house prices here are only a third of that in London. For ex-Londoner Vicky Gould, it's one of the best cities I've ever lived in, and I'm proud to call it my home. For Daniel Ma, love brought him to the city. And he says, I'm really starting to like it. It's a lot going on. I walked on the walkways, sat on the seats. So it seems just like the wise man Telly Savalas said, everyone wants to dally in Dale End. So what really makes a city is its people, like 11-year-old Lenin Fitzsimmons, who won the Child of Courage Award. He won it for saving his friend James from a speeding car. It's the ordinary people doing extraordinary things, and that is what makes the spirit of this city. Absolutely. And that's it from us on The Late Team. Very good evening to you. The weather now next with Shafali. Bye-bye.